thank you so much for the invitation, for the kind presentation. I'm very excited, very happy to be here. It's a kind of coming home. And uh, so I'm very happy to see a lot of friends being here. I start <coughs> media in res, media in, in res, but uh, I would like to uh, underline that I change a concept. Uh, in, my, in my abstract, it was uh, telling two wars in operation ontology of the life, and I, instead of life, I put living, and you will see why. So reflections about the, the link between the event and technology sharpen our sensibility for the question whether we are whether we are in within a new ontology which is coming up. An ontology that is either hylomorphistic nor anthropocentric. Thus technology invites us to conceive a more radical concept of the event precisely beyond a negative ontology uh, and media theory like, for instance, presented by Dieter Mersch. I don't want to, to criticize Dieter, Dieter Mersch, but I use a little bit him in order to differentiate between a, a negative theology of life and in an immanent kind of thinking about the living. Ob obviously, a series of considerations in his reading, in Merch's reading uh, of uh, Jean-François Jean Lyotard and Derrida, are worth to be taken into consideration, such as the abandon of the supremacy of the subject, as he says, still present in semiotic approaches, and he, he, he just his argument is again that. Nevertheless, if we focus on the link between the event and technology, we will be able to shift from a negative theory to an operative framework. And this framework, the operative uh, ontology, uh, that is present in Lyotard's oeuvre, perhaps more evidently in his writing after Les Immateriaux, the exhibit held at the Centre Pompidou in Paris, uh, 1985. And I will just focus on, on that, on the writing after 1985. Uh, As you know, Lyotard organized the exhibit and wrote also the text uh, of the exhibition uh, catalog. Starting with the negative aesthetics, I will hence focus on the shift towards an operative concept of the event that is, in my opinion, linked to Lyotard's considerations about the material density and paradoxical processuality of new technologies that are at stake in one of the last publications uh, is precisely perenigrations. Uh, law form event. Uh, it was it's a series of lectures uh, he held, and is, has uh, pub pub published first in uh, through the Columbia University Press, 1988. A writer, a writer autobiographic autobiographic text about his own uh, his own uh, theories. Let me start with the concept of the event in the framework of negative theory. Uh, as in, uh, uh, proposed by Merch uh, <coughs> in his own Ereignis and Aura, but also, and especially in his essay, uh, Das Entgegenkommen und das Verspätete, Zwei Weisen, das Ereignis zu denken, der Rida in Lyotard, perished in 2004. Mersch uh, obviously refers to the coming up, das Entgegenkommende, to Lyotard and the belated to Derrida. You can imagine that. Due to the fact that both Lyotard and Derrida draw the concept of the event from Heidegger, the event, event implies, implies eventually its own concealment. According to Mersch, the difference between Derrida and Lyotard is rather to be found in the role of materiality. 
Derrida conceives the event in absentia precisely as belated, as a belated effect of the trace. The event is hence external to its, its material actualization in Derrida. For Lyotard, in contrast, the event is the unsable that comes up to meet linguistic articulation and materializes itself as an event of concealment, unconcealment. Invert in the sense of temporality, Lyotard transforms Hegel's negativity into the positivity of the sensual material experience through a subject that is detached from its own reflexive judgment. The event is then, then not an answer to the question, what is happening, quid, but the realization of the fact that it happens at now, quad. Now, underscoring the material manifestation of the event, Merch seems to abandon the framework of negativity. Nevertheless, the reference to Benjamin's erratic mode in his further argument re reintroduce negativity in the conception of the event. Thus, as we know, Benjamin, Benjamin's erratic mode means the unique apparition of distance, however near it may be. It is the mode of an art object in the process of being eliminated from the human aesthetic experience due to technology. Although Merch reference to Benjamin intends to highlight the role of subjectivity as passive with respect to the aura of the art object, the aura stress the experience of failure reintegrating the event into the experience of negativity. This understanding of Lyotard's event corresponds very much to some early declaration in La Condition Postmoderne, underscoring the unattainable within the possible, the absence within the presentation. You see here a quote on La Condition Postmoderne, Les postmodernes seraient ce qui, dans les modernes, allègue l'imprésentable, dans la présentation elle-même, ce qui se refuse à la consolation des bonnes formes, au consensus d'un goût qui permettrait d'épouvrer en commun la nostalgie de l'impossible, la nostalgie de l'impossible, ce qui s'inquiète des présentations nouvelles, non pas pour en jouir, mais pour mieux faire sentir qu'il y a de l'imprésentable. Dita Merch's negative, uh, negative philosophy of the event is perhaps justified with respect to Lyotard's early work. In his first essay, essays uh, on the sublime, the sublime and the avant-garde, Lyotard describes Newman's, uh, Bennett, Bennett Newman's painting as a network of serial sequences that could, in principle, continue indefinitely. Preferring to this painting and to Newman's declaration, this sublime is now, and, uh, and, uh, uh, the, uh, and referring to the canvas of, uh, of uh, Newman, in, uh, in his this sublime and the avant-garde, Lyotard's contents, the artwork is an ev event an occurrence with Martin Heidegger called Ein Ereignis, uh, stressing the sense of the Heideggerian event, the sublime appears to be the revelation of the unproduced, that which has not yet been presented, it perhaps cannot be presented. Now, in this description, you find two opposite modes of defining the event. First, or A, the, the unproduced in the positive sense of coming up, of processing, and of becoming. Second, as negation of the presentation to the reflexive judgment. Both mode of interpretation are uh, implied in the quote uh, before, the revelation of the unproduced, that which has not yet been presented and perhaps cannot be presented. Merge tends more towards the accentuation of the second path. 
The failure of the representation giving rise to informal art is interpreted through, uh, by, through Merch as the materialization of something that detracts itself, Enzug, in the sense of, of uh, Heidegger. Now, Newman's art can, of course, be, un be understood in the oratic mold as some something that escapes. This is the mode of some photographs of the extreme large canvas by Newman. The scene in this photograph underlines the finitude of the observer in front of the impression of boundless space of canvas of the canvas evoking a sentiment of the sublime. Exactly this understanding of the event as something that reveals itself through the concealment of its meaning correspond to the negative media theory by Dieter Merch. My reading of Lyotard, especially in Peregrinations, intends to shift into another direction. Rather than the retreat of meaning, we will see other accent in Lyotard's arguments about materiality, especially if we were, if we are attentive to the technological milieus. Lyotard asks about the role of aesthesis, aesthesis, and I intend his argument on aesthesis as the sensitive moment of the material configuration and practice, including technological practices. Now, the link between aesthesis and technology is not surprising. If we think on the main intent of the exhibit, Les Immatériaux, precisely to show the material role of technology in its interaction with humans. You see some, some photograph of the, uh, of the um, ex exhibit. You see through the photograph, the photographs it in itself a production mode of, of different spaces implied uh, as a potentiality of, uh, of the image itself. Lyotard attempted to use uh, all the tools in his arsenal from the latest technology to the full uh, human sensorium to ask if and how our relationship to the world has fundamentally changed. Les immatériaux are new material. Immaterial is not a negation of uh, material, but it, it means a new kind of material that challenges our relationship to the world, as well as man's mastery uh, of our nature. Negativity is here full of a calm. Uh, the, the space of the exhibit were organized and structured in, in five spaces. And all the, the denomination of uh, those spaces, as you see, uh, insist uh, on materiality uh, and on every, every vector is uh, called uh, true uh, derivation of mat matter, material, and materiality. The presence of material uh, forces is a common principle organizing the exhibit. As far as the material mediations are concerned, they have to be intended as forces and different sort of energies at work coming with matter. Now, this shift into the positivity of material and technological practices is the main concern of perenigrations. The front speech in the German edition of Streifzüge Gesetz vom Ereignis, the German edition of Perenigrations, uh, is, uh, is il illustrate exactly this shift. I'm going to, to describe this, uh, this drawing. Uh, it is a drawing by the German Hendrik Dorgarten, known especially for his space dogs and for his serious comics about the tie between humans and machine, new media and mutants. In this drawing, the resonances of the avant-garde, cubism and expressionism are transferred into a technological mode. The human <laughs> appeared to be formed by a technological milieu. Myths of the image, you see an in-between uh, that has been created through the interchange of reciproc 
uh, glance between the human and the environment, and is, this reciprocity appears not only to astonish the observer in the picture itself, but also to deprive to, uh, to him to those of those technical dispositives such as the binocular he held in, in, in his uh, hand, whose function was to be a prosthesis for the panoptical domination of space. And precisely because these dispositives are now functionsless, they fall from his hand. This, the image showed the occurrence of another ontology beyond the Cartesian separation between res cogitans and res extensa, and also of another aesthetics linked to technical mediation. Thus, instead of the nothing between subject and object, between uh, the uh, observer and the, the uh, architecture, we have here a mediality which creates an in-between at the center. This in-between is not empty. It is rather filled with operative processes that make possible the interaction uh, uh, between entities, between human and non-human agencies. These processes are carried out through interactive material practices producing particular modes of existence. Technology destroys, hence, the sovereignty of subjects, but exactly this destitution makes possible the visual event put in scene in this image. Now, in, in his book, Lyotard starts insisting on the fragility of the subject within an aesthetic experience. Proust and Baudelaire are obviously his references. In fact, the destitution of the powerful subject of knowledge in Kant's sublime due to the failure of the reflexive judgment is the positive condition for the opening on aesthetic sensibility. As we know, this reconfiguration of subjectivity is the main point of Simondon's individuations and it is also at stake in the interaction of man and technique as condition for humans to actualize their own potentiality. The substitution of the nothing between uh, subject and object through a speciality, precisely a milieu where material interactions between man and machine, as well mediation and technical operation, take place, is a radical shift. It will convey in what we call operative ontology from Gilles Deleuze to Bruno Latour, Roberto Esposito, Jane Betten, Kern Barat, etc., etc. But let me advance in Lyotard's scrutiny of the aesthetic of the event. Peregrination in peregrination. Although at the beginning the event is defined as an occurrence vis-a-vis -a, -vis a conceptual void, the main argument of the book accentuates rather the role of sensibility that transforms the negativity into a positive it occurs. Thus the event needs a special form uh, a special form of attention to be understood as a bodily tension, at tension towards the other or the others. In the sense, Jean-Luc Nancy describes the role of listening, à l'écoute. It is a dense and diffuse openness which is not to compare with the cognitive concentration needed by attentiveness, which would remain within the capitalistic logic, logic of the empowerment of subject and the opposite, debt, debt and guilt, guilty. Attention, at tension, is rather a sacrifice of the self as a condition for the upcoming event. How does the author describe the event? Something occurs that affects subjectivity. What matters is not what, but how the event presents itself. In describing the, uh, the, the, this canvas of Newman, uh, it, uh, he says, it is an occur occurrence of materiality, of uh, a chromatic quality, a nuance of colors. Sometimes it is the concealment of blue color, another time of a yellow shadow that penetrates the atmosphere. 
that it is an intensity that means passivity without pathos, as Lyotard also underscores in Economie Liminale. The French word touch, touch, touche, pardon, the French word touche expresses the event of painting, he says, precisely in the sense of a double, double plane of intensity as a material color and also a bodily touch. The event is therefore a sensitive mode of thinking, a mode that affects subjectivity, a mode whose materiality neutralizes the law of recognition that requires the homologization of sensation and chronology. Lyotard's subjectivity is very much in correspondence with actual theories about effect. Effects are moments of intensity, a reaction in on the body at the level of matter. They might res resonate with structural or figurative forms, but are of a different a prior order. We, we might even say that effects are immanent to matter. Lyotard underscores the fact that the materiality of the event requires special techniques capable to produce at tension. The main metaphor he uses are the clouds. Thinking like a cloud means being open from sensitive da data coming from the environment with their own vectorality, temporality, and contingency. It is the manifestation of a kind of transitional ontology that comes toward the subject without allowing him to transform the sensible data into social information and categorizations. The event hits the subject in its own singularity and contingency. Clouds are hence a metaphor for the material autonomy of environmental data as well as for a special kind of mediation that needs operation like gaps and voids. These operations have to be understood in the Deleuzean Guattari sense of as a significant, a, a significant practices that avoid the transformation of the event in deter ter determinate and stable forms, give it the illusion of essential reality. This uh, afternoon we were talking about this kind of transformation of negativ negativity in a, in a practic practice in operation, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, um, uh, Lawrence uh, proposed to call that uh, a technique of negation without, uh, without, uh, without uh, the, the, the negativity of uh, semantic like void, uh, uh, nothing, and so on. It's a kind of, uh, of negation as a, a a, a, a creative praxis, as we know in the avant-garde, for instance, and also in the theory of, uh, of, uh, of uh, um, um, Russian structuralism like, or Praga's uh, structuralism like Slavsky proposition that every creation has to be, uh, has to, to, to have a kind of de-automatization. No? And, uh, but what, what uh, is important for me is the transformation for, of ne negation as, a, a, as affirmative pre creating operation within uh, aesthetics. Ne clo uh, clouds need uh, gaps and voids in order to, to remain clouds. It is in order to remain transitional and in order to not to, to, to build a kind of cluster, give it the illusion of, uh, of uh, reality. These operations are to be understood uh, in the sense of uh, the Lesian Guattari sense of a significant practices that avoid the transformation uh, of the event in determined and stable forms. These operations produce the figural, in, in terms of Lyotard, it distinguished between the figural and the figurative. The figural would be this kind of, uh, of uh, operation that uh, needs voids, needs 
uh, a, a negation in order to remain figural and not to fall into figurative, into mimesis in the, in the more uh, simple uh, sense. Such operations might also make open for the upcoming of other ontologies. The void, the nothing, has been definitely transformed, uh, transformed into positive operations. Here, Lyotard underscores the role of technical mediation making possible, possible to go beyond the negativity of the event, precisely to go beyond the absence within the Heideggerian Ide Ide cons concealment, as Lyotard claims very, very directly. Heidegger would have spoken about the retreat of the being. In contrast to Heidegger's decline, I would mean that this retreat drives into a path that allows the artist by use of new technology, if he, we understand them as technai, to find new forms. The sublime, hence, is the result of a splitting between the reflexive judgment and the sensitive attention to the occurrence of onto ontological intensities. Lyotard emphasizes very much that because of the new uh, technologies, the splitting of the capacities in the aesthetics of, this, of the sublime is a sign of the complexity of sensitive dat data. This is also valid for the mo modern and contemporary art. The networks for that not common code exists yet will become more and more dynamic according to the increasing complexity. As a consequence, the aesthetics according, uh, the status according the scale of nature is that, Lyotard claims, technologies foster rather new form that could have a political impact in the sense of a revolutionary ethics. This is the, this, these are the insights at the end of the book. In this kind of aesthetics, mediation and operation take place in the milieu replacing the Cartesian topography of boundary between subject and think, uh, mind and body, living spirit and dead matter. This milieu is the plan of immanence of, and of its vectorial dynamics. But how can we imagine the passage from such an aesthetic of the event to an operative ontology of the living. And I come to the second part uh, of my, my reflections about aesthetic and ontology of the living. Understood as a sensibility for the event as the, at the surface, surface of human and not human corporality, and as a capacity to affect and to be affected, aesthetics is a crucial point in a thinking of the living and of a possible sociality between livings. When we speak of the living, we are beyond the vitalistic concept of life. The living is a technical ensemble insofar as it evolves as symbiogenesis, precisely as a deep nexus of living entities with their own environment. This, uh, this idea starts with Uxul and go further in Deleuze uh, until uh, this, uh, the, the last uh, book of, uh, by Donna Haraway, Ten Staying with the Trouble, Tentacular Thinking, uh, perished a couple of months ago, 2016. And Donna Haraway takes the amoeba as uh, a fundant foundational figure for a new epistemology that goes beyond the Anthropocene. As a living entity before individuation processes, the amoeba is thus capable of shift, to shift biology and ecology towards the processuality of multilateral assemblages. This claim represents a possible linkage between co-extensive and processual ontology and the philosophy of the living. The individuation of particular lives is in fact to be figured as an indefinite series of material events 
within the continuum of interaction, interactions between humans, technique, and non-human environment. Symbiogenesis, a continually transformation in a multi, uh, po po multilateral uh, relationship of uh, entities and a continu continuous becoming. After having deconstructed concept of community based on the aporetic, uh, aporetic linkage between property, identity, and society in communitas, and after the deconstruction of concept of immunity based on the model of war in politics and medicine, in the last chapter, chapter of immunity, Roberto Esposito proposed the implant as a new concept of immunity. The relationality of biological and technical body is this in an implant is described in the sense of the monus, precisely as an impersonal gift, a logic of donors without receivers, based on simultaneous relation of reciprocity and mutuality. Far away from a moral logic, the monus is a kind of filter of membrane that allows mutual operations of alter alterations between humans as well between biological and technical entities, producing a chain of transmutation, and this is also in accordance to biological models. In BIOS, Esposito reminds of the evolution of the embryo in a womb of the mother. Here, two different DNS do not fight against each other, Rather, they interact in order to allow the event of the birth. In BIOS, the birth is related to, different, to two different domains. The occurrence of excetas, of entities on this side of the life, on the plane of immanence, giving rise to processes of individuation. In fact, Esposito draws the con concept from Deleuze, who had drawn it from Simon Don. Etzeitas is the most particular singular event that in the reading of Esposito has also political a political dim dimension. Etymologically, the birth is related to nation, nascere, na nation and, and, uh, and uh, birth. Ne in, in, with reference uh, to Balibar, nation derives from nascere. Therefore, the processual ontology of the living could become also a model for, uh, for upcoming communities where a nation is not a, a, a system of exclusion, exclusion, but just the, the opposite, a system of interaction in order to become and to evolve. Roberto Esposito reformulates biopolitics affirmatively relating this, these operations to the question of the politics of life. The dynamics of life is hence not intrinsic to the subject, but it comes from outside of him, from the power of life itself. Biopower is the power of life itself. It is its own faculty of being transformed or altered by the environment. Esposito substitutes the separations through, through, through operations that make permeable life forms. The monus is the manifestation of the ontological permeability, permeability of life as a power of transformations within the never finishing process of becoming common and immune at the same time. The community and immunity are uh, uh, in the binary thinking and opposition. If you, are, if you want immunity, you need to close, you need to separate, you need to, to avoid contamination, but he, he links both together. The, the only way to live uh, according to the biological model of immunity, you have to, to open 
uh, the, uh, the system of immunity to the community because in other, other way, uh, in other terms, you would, uh, you would degenerate in an autoimmunitarian uh, il illness. This uh, operative ontology of life has been indirectly a concern of aesthetics, uh, Esposito claims, and in fact for him, literature and the arts are an impressive reservoir of the oper this operation. Uh, he explored himself in, in a living thought where he, he, uh, he reads uh, philosopher, liter, lit, uh, uh, writers, uh, uh, he, he describes arts and, uh, and uh, trying to, to uh, underline just uh, this principle. One of the most uh, uh, interesting examples is his reading uh, of Leonardo. Uh, he emphasized very much uh, the uh, painting showing the, showing the flood because uh, the forms, they, they just uh, are, uh, the dynamic of, dynamic of the form is a kind of becoming. Um, and uh, uh, this, uh, this dynamic is uh, to be observed also in the in the human representation where the, uh, the um, particulars uh, are a kind of interaction between humans and animals, as you see in respect to the, uh, to the drawing of, uh, of uh, animals, in this case of this uh, roaring lion. Now, after the catastrophe of the World War II, uh, a negative concept uh, of immunity as system of separation, exclusion, and life destruction, eventually leading to the catastrophe of the Shoah, was questioned by artists. One of the most impressive examples of this questioning is Blanchot's understanding of a disaster. And I will uh, conclude my presentation demonstrating once again the importance uh, of the shifting uh, from the negativity of the nothing into possible ontologies, uh, uh, coming back to Blanchot's Écriture du désastre, writing of disaster. As a never finishing process, the experience of disaster is here an opening to the immanence, affecting subjectivity and make it in making it accessible for operation of rationality. You need disaster in order to, to recognize that uh, the uh, rationality, uh, interrationality, is uh, uh, the only possibility of thinking uh, living uh, environment. In my opinion, Blanchot played a foundational role in this shifting. The writing of disaster by Blanchot is also a demonstration of the role of the aesthetics for the philosophy of the living itself. I start with, uh, with a quote from uh, writing of the disaster. Extinguished, eye, extinguished eyes flash suddenly with a will, wild glimmer for a crust of bread. Even if the sense that one is going to die moments later still subsists, and there is no longer any question of nourishment. The, this glimmer or spark illuminates nothing living. And yet, with this look uh, uh, that is at, as last look, bread is given to us as a bread, a gift beyond all reason, all values, exterminated in nihilistic desolation, and all objective order renounced maintains the fragile chance of life through the sanctification of eating. Nothing sacred, let us be clear. Something that is given unreservedly by whoever, whoever dies as a consequent. Of great importance is the mouthful of food, grand and le manger, says Levinas after a Jewish saying. Blanchot underscores the disclosure of the sky 
uh, that is absol absolutely empty, provoking the vertiginous knowledge that nothing is where there is, and, and first of all, nothing beyond. In the above quote, and in several frag fragments of writing of disaster, it's evident that this shift to another, perhaps post-human space, transforms negativity. In as much as the disaster is thought, it is non-disastrous thought. It is the thought of the outside. Now, a critique de disaster is a technique that requires the dispossession dispos of subjectivity, the disempowerment of power, the detachment of any detachment. And because of this technique, negativity becomes an affirmation of life. Within the disaster, the event of the leaving is possible, which is felt in all its fragility, but at the same time in all its glimmer. It is precisely the faculty eman emanated from the disaster to recognize the fragile chance of life to the sanctification of the most elementary need, the need of eating, a need which is common for the living in its most extensive sense, including humans, animals, and non-humans. This intensive and extensive sense of living emerges from the disaster precisely from, from the complete elimination of transcendental belief, a transcend, transcend, transcendence that in contrast is still a stake in Heidegger's Ereignis as well as in negative, negative media theories or in the negation of political theology funding Agamben's project. Blanchot's scene of disaster affects and transforms subjectivity in a sensual way, for that the subject, subject is always outside of itself, always compromised by the neuter that is essentially is. Of course, uh, Levinas uh, is a seminal uh, a text on Levinas like Totality and Infinite or uh, Otherwise Than Being, a seminal text for Branchot and not only for him. Creative energies come then from the exteriority with an intensity that responds to the appeal of something is given, something is given unreservedly. We can experience uh, this intensity in Blanchot's écriture in the above quote. Precisely this situation needs operation of rationality, making possible an ontology that is not produced yet. There is no name yet for this other space. The space itself asks for other ontologies. The nihilistic experience of disaster is the original scene shifting from nihilism to the positivity of immanence, as we can see in the less on reading uh, of Nietzsche. Under the rule of nihil nihilism, negation is the form and the content of the will to power. We had to get to the last man, then to the man who wants to die, for negation finally to turn against the reactive force and become an action that serves a higher affirmation. Nihilism has to be conceived not as negation, but as transmutation, precisely as active becoming of forces, a triumph of of affirmation in the will to power. Blanchot transforms the negativity of disaster in a re relational uh, ontology, which is also a seminal moment in the history of mind after 1945, precisely in Beckett, Jean-Luc Nancy, Deleuze, uh, Simondon, Roberto Esposito, etc. Uh, Roberto Esposito and his impersonal that has, has to be conceived along the line of Blanchot's Newton. This ontology eventually needs another phenomenology, another technique of awakening at tension, which is an intensive, at the same time, a diff diffuse way of being attentive to the streaming of material data that hit the subject. We recognize the contemporary aesthetics fostering relationality, closeness, and process processuality on the material surface, surface of writing and images from Jean-Luc Nancy to Lyotard. 
In an essay of 2000, Esposito dwells on the relationship between nihilism and community. Going back to the difference between the nihilism, the uh, nihilistic in the sense of negative, destructive interpretation on the one hand, and the constructive function of the nothing as an ontological category of the other hand, on the other hand, Esposito claims the following. The overlapping of being and nothing, the being of community is the gap, the speciality that relates us to the others within a common known belonging and in a league of ourness that never comes together through a common good. In common is only the lack, not the possession, the property, the appropriation. Not the possession, the property, and the appropriation. The lack becomes here a technique of creating inter interrelation. Being the nothing, the essence of community individual, both are moving towards their own alterity. Both are submitted to an alteration coming from the liminal line that separates each other from what it cannot be. As a political practice, this needs intensity and radical changes in the disposition and in the position of men towards the world, giving space to the contingency of the living, a particular living, whose event can occur every moment in everyday situation. This rather minimalistic and spectacular ontological condition that needs relationality to the others and mediators as well operations and transformation chains in order to come to form could interrupt the actual chain of terroristic actions by subjects seeking for redemption or for messianic coup. This can be also the foundation of another politic. Thank you for your passion to this. Uh, <laughs>